All right, gearheads, here's the replacement truck. I would call it a C10, but I found out today that the 87 is called an R10. This is an 87 half ton, dual tanks. Um, when I picked it up, I was told that they believed it was a 350, but it's actually a 305. I'll show you that here in a minute. It's been lowered. The front, it looks like it just had heated springs. The rear has a flip kit. The bed has been sprayed. These are electric fans I plan on putting on soon. And then we got the, uh, the filler for the tailgate. I'm not sure if I'm gonna run that yet. The rear end was cleaned up some. And the frame down there was sprayed. This week I spent about 30 hours putting the engine together, uh, getting everything so they can run, so I can drive it to the exhaust shop and get the manifolds welded up, or the exhaust to the manifold welded up. Uh, it does have the original style grill and also the bezels, bezels around the headlights that I need to get. The trim there, I'll clean all that black off, get it shining again. It looks like they had a, a blue and black theme going here. All the aluminum and the trim was painted black which I believe is why the previous owner was removing this band here which I'll find a replacement for that all the black pieces I'll put back to aluminum and the wheels I don't think I'm going to leave those black for too long maybe paint them silver for now but I prefer to have like a 17 inch uh, Krager style wheel probably the truck overall is in decent condition it's not bad I'm excited to have a square back since the, they stole my last one the interior is in much better shape than my last one. I've taken the gauge cluster apart because I need to replace the, the board on the back so I get a couple of the lights working and also repair the um, check engine light wasn't working. I like that check engine light so I know everything's running right. I need to clean the doors up. Look a little rough. The bench is beautiful. Looks great. It's not my 60-40 spent with the folding console but it is nice. This one actually has a console it's already tinted, got the brow out front and a good windshield, unlike my last one. The dash pad, uh, this rear window's gotta go. That's just easy access for somebody to steal my truck again. Uh, yeah, I'm in the process of making a couple different kill switches so we can prevent that from happening again. They've done a nice paint job on the bottom of the dash here, a gloss black. Need another steering wheel, of course. And let's go under the hood. Uh, when I got it, it did not have this mirror on it. It didn't have it at all, actually. I pulled this one from a junkyard yesterday and put it on. And also the rain gutter was missing on this side. I put that back on. Uh, when I first assembled this engine, I found out the main problem was it wasn't running. It kept dying off as soon as you would crank it. And I thought it was a fuel injection problem. Turned out it was this damn switch right here. It had a bad connection on the inside. And it was uh, creating resistance. It was getting real hot. So I got in there and cleaned this one out for, for now. I'll probably replace it in the future. But I cleaned it out, it's running like a champ now. And it's got a cow hood. It's a metal hood. Brand new Chrome Master Power or something alternator. This would be cleaned up. I just slapped, got done putting it together and got it running yesterday actually. Um, I see things I had to do when I picked it up. Uh, it had no gaskets under the valve covers. I put va gaskets on, valve covers on. Uh, intake was not on. Had a broken bolt in the in the intake. Had to extract. All the harness was put into a ball on the back, I guess, so they could paint the engine bay. Uh, that's put back in place where it goes. I need to secure a couple things still. That's just temporary on there, just to have a air cleaner. Everything mainly was just put together to get it running and make sure everything worked right, so that uh. I can drive this. I'm in need of a daily driver. I'm borrowing a buddy's Tahoe over here. I need to get that back to him. Uh, I had to get a battery tray and mount it. It didn't have one. And um, uh, I had to mount this header, which the paint on it didn't stay. Whatever they had painted it with wasn't the right paint. But I um, had to mount that header, take off the stock manifold, and clearance, clearance a couple things to make that header fit. And then now I just need to weld it up to the exhaust. This header was already on, but it did not have a gasket, so I put a gasket on it and put it back on. 
he did weld it up to the exhaust also need an o2 bung installed down there the o2 is just hanging here for now uh what else um while i was working on it i did find i don't know if you can see it down there but there's a crack in the frame i'll have to repair in the future got new hoses new belts had to get different pulleys so i was able to get this together quickly uh, it's got a nice big fat be cool radiator that should be plenty cool which i need to get the right mounts for must be the heavy duty style mount or something it's not fitting on there but uh for the most part that's it that's the new project i do plan to find a new ac box evaporator blower motor fan all that stuff and get that back in there i will have ac and of course this is temporary this is to get me a driving vehicle for now hopefully about next year i'll be putting a 5.3 in here again with the 4l60 e transmission right now it has a 700r4 that we believe is bad and i'm lining up another transmission right now to swap it in there i got some cleaning up to do uh, to get these little sticky from the old badges off paint definitely looks better than my old vehicle definitely can't complain about that also i haven't inspected but he told me it's an open diff we don't know what gear ratio yet but i can't stand to have a truck with open diff can't stand it so that's going to be on my list of things to do soon Over here, it had uh, masking tape all around here for where he was painting the engine bay. Once I took the masking tape off, I noticed uh, it looked like somehow he got hit with a razor blade. But, for the most part, it's a nice looking truck. Uh, I got underneath it to do something. I noticed the coil springs in the front looked like they were heated. Uh, a couple of those coil springs are touching each other. It doesn't look like it's going to be a good ride, so I need to lower it correctly and then get an alignment on it so the tires quit wearing out you can see there the tires wearing out on the inside nice good tires new but the insides all wore out from the bad alignment since I already had those control arms I was putting on my other truck I'll probably just finish those arms and put them on here while I'm lowering it correctly alright let's go ahead and crank it up it's a straight open header right now so it's not going to be the best sound but you can see it's running though. That's it for now. Well, I figure we go ahead and take this thing for a test drive and see how far this transmission gets us. That way I got it on tape while I'm walking back to the house.
get the exhaust welded up. From there, I can go ahead and troubleshoot the transmission when I can actually hear something.